Installation of a moose valve. Moose valve is a backflow valve for your blowpipe stock. It's inserted directly into the blowpipe stock. The moose valve comes with its own installation key or tool. The valve itself, it compresses against the inner wall of the stock, holding it in place. One of the nice things about the moose valve is that the tube that it comes in is relatively close in size to the actual inner bore size of your blowpipe stock. This allows you to practice the installation of this valve, which is very easy, a few times in a clear tube before having to insert it into your blowpipe stock where you really are pushing it into darkness and not understanding exactly how you're locking it in. So what you want to do with this is, first off, put the key on. The key locks right into the cross stem inside the, uh, the moose valve. And what you want to do is you want to turn it a couple of half turns till you create a snug feel on your moose valve. So now here we are, we're dealing with a snug feel. Then what we want to do is we want to come in with your blowpipe and push it into place, seating the moose valve at the proper depth in the blowpipe stock. At this point, we're coming back with our key and we are going to tighten the moose valve into place. We do not want to over tighten. We are just snugging it up and it's going to create a seal on the inside wall of the blowpipe, creating a airflow. <laughs> Basically, this is how we install the moose valve. I'll Install it into the actual blowpipe stock here in just a second. To take the moose valve out, we put our key back in. Normally what we do with our key is when we're done with it or our wrench, keep it in the pipe case so you know where it's at and you know where to find it. Put the key back in. We want to loosen the valve a couple of turns. The first thing we want to do is actually push the valve farther into the bag, breaking the seal, and then taking the valve out. Once, twice a year, you want to take this valve out and clean the whole thing with some soap and water under the kitchen sink. Now, to install it into your blowpipe stock after, done, after practicing a couple of times in its package, same idea. You want to come to the blowpipe stock, feel for a snug fit, which we're not getting yet. There, we are now at a snug fit inside the stock. Coming back with the blowpipe, and since again we're doing this kind of blind now because it's inside the stock, I can pull that out and know the valve is inserted into the proper depth. We're coming back with the key, just two or three half turns. And we create a valve that's virtually maintenance free and worry free. The moose valve also can be installed in any pipe bag, sheepskin, hide, anything without a zipper bag because it's inserted from the exterior of the, the pipe bag. There are a couple of few makes, a couple of makes of bag pipes that this does not work in. So um, you might want to check to make sure that your blowpipe stock is free of any type of water trap or built-in water trap so that a moose valve could be used. Another one of the nice features about the moose valve is it can be installed as a water trap. Many people love this option and feature. What you want to do at this point is go about your normal installation of the moose valve, snugging it, snugging it up, seating it into the stock, inserting it in so we know that there's no space between the blowpipes, uh, blowpipe and the moose valve in the stock. At this time, we want to take our wrench and visually, look at, looking at the end of the wrench, we want to insert the moose valve another 
quarter of an inch deeper into the blowpipe stock. You just visually look at the, the fastening tool heading deeper into the stock. At this point, we want to come in and we want to tighten that up. And then now you will notice there is a gap between the moose valve and the moose valve and the base of the blowpipe, creating a reservoir for water to accumulate. Every 10 to 15 minutes of play, you'll need to empty out that reservoir of water. I will demonstrate that on an actual blowpipe. Again, preceding it using our blowpipe. Now again, I am looking at the actual stem. You could even mark a piece of tape just to know, but you're just seating it in another quarter of an inch, locking it in place, creating the reservoir around the moose valve. And as moisture collects in the reservoir around the moose valve every 10 to 15 minutes of play, you will need to take and just take the blowpipe out and dump the moisture out. You should see some moisture, um, as, as I said, every 10 to 15 minutes of play.